She doesn't look like she's got a pot in which to piss. <laughs> that is ace. Oh my god, that is ace. <laughs> One Night, um, just wanted to know, first of all, what attracted you to One Night? I think the thing that was just so different for me from any other um, show that I'd read that touches on this subject of, of sexual assault was that it was, it, it had this incredible transition of time where, you, you know, present day is 20 years later, but it's, it's intertwined with the younger versions of ourselves within the present day of the moment that essentially decimates this friendship group's life. And I think that the way Emily chose to tell it, which is from the three people's point of view, so every episode follows a different person, but within this friendship group, but also inside out, so that it isn't police detectives discovering, you know, and that the survivor of this attack becomes a kind of third party to the event. It's very much about who they are, what that what that does, and whose right it is to tell that story, and and what and and I suppose from my point of view, Tess read like no character I'd ever played. And queer families, especially I think those involving queer women, are still very much a rarity on TV and in film. Um, what does it mean to you to be able to add and in increase or improve that representation? Well, because it, sh it shouldn't be that, is the thing. And I think that that's the point. Like we're, I think the fact that the, you know, in the sense of it being a conversation and it being still something that isn't represented in this day and age, feels ridiculous but what is wonderful about it is I, I hope that is that it feels within this piece that it's absolutely a part of the story rather than um that being the story do you see what i mean you know like rather than the storyline being how did these two women meet get together and have children Let's do, you know, it's not that, it's just, and, but it feels, I felt that the, the love, particularly the infinite patience that I think Vicky has for Ted, we would talk about that all the time. I just thought it was so beautifully written and so authentic. And it's from an, and it's from a voice of someone who understands love, understands grief, understands all these things. And I felt incredibly safe hands with Emily. And I think Emily's writing is beautiful and poetic and, and has and understands the human condition in a way that I think is pretty unique. What were the conversations like between you as a cast and the creators about bringing those relationships to life? I thought the exploration of the marriage between Vicky and Tess was so well explored because actually Vicky's the one that has the coldest version of Tess and she's the most and she's her safest space and that the intimacy between them and the I suppose showing the the fact that this isn't, you know, a new relationship. We've got a marriage. They've got children. It's, it's, it's embedded within them. But she could still be a stranger within it. And I think that for us guys, it was just about feeling safe in the space. The, you know, now we're in a time where, particularly with scenes, you work with intimacy coordinators. That's bra absolutely brand new for me. And it was the first time I'd worked with one. And at the time, because it was with Vicky, it was just maybe a kiss and not necessarily, you know, dealing with nudity or sex scenes or anything like that. But having an intimacy coordinator there as well was so brilliant to kind of guide out and make it, it's just such a, I don't know, it makes the environment incredibly explorative in an environment where, you know, no one's un uncomfortable and there's no line crosses. And I think that that, that having having someone there to kind of help choreograph our physicalization was as important because that's that like I say for this set this is the first set I've been on where there's been intimacy coordinators and for other scenes obviously it was incredibly important mm -hmm. but for me with it was always with Vicky and it just meant that the for me and Kat it felt like this relationship really came alive and felt authentic and it didn't because what you don't want is particularly when it's a marriage you want to feel like there's so much love and trust there but you also want to represent a re relationship that's been through a lot that's not just continually all over each other like you know you've you got to show it at all sides of each other and it was just beautiful and detailed I thought without being overwritten 
Uh, and I've got to ask, as a former Time Lord yourself, uh, what would you want to see uh, Shuti Gatwa bring to his incarnation I of mean, the he's Doctor? Bring an infinite amount of magic. <laughs> so I cannot wait. He's going to smash it, and I'm going to be on the front row. Very excited. Any ideas if we'll get a third Centrinians movie? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know if Beverly would be popping up in it. You're the second person to ask me about Centrinians. I don't think I've been asked about Centrinians in years, and you're the second person. That's so funny. Is it having like, is it an anniversary? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, always, I always remember seeing you as Beverly in Centrinians. It's being Beverly. Um, but I've got to ask you on, on the subject of Beverly, do you know that there's a drag act doing Beverly? No. Uh, I'll show you this video quickly. Do you know what? Do you know what I had to help me out with that line? Yeah. Lena Heede. Oh, really? I was really struggling with how to say the second bit <laughs> and she really and she helped me say that second line and I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And she made that line so funny. I was, I was like, thank God. Because I was really struggling on how to land it. But that is it in its best incarnation. That That's a better Beverly than me. And she does the entire thing. So she does the serotonin line as well about the ups and the downs. That version is incredible. She's amazing. Absolutely amazing.